Can we start with poop and tea? Poop and tea. Oh my gosh. Yes. You've seen our web series. I think a lot of people have. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot more people than we expected saw it. Um, uh, I think my parents felt the same way. They were like, how is, are so many people watching this thing? Yeah, especially called poop and tea. I mean, is that the, is the title the gotcha? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Did, yeah. You were searching. Well, that and also <laughs> I love the porn one where you guys are talking about porn. I mean, maybe your parents saw that one or like, oh, we watched the same everything one. everything at this well, point. Actually, yeah, actually, the poop and tea was the first one we shot. That it's was actually the very Why first one. Well, it was one of those things where we we, we had the idea. We we're like, oh, we got to do something, and all we do is no, talk about. No, you needed mo- a scene for your for your agent. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. And oh, he so. asked me to write something. Right. Uh, so, oh yeah, right, right. And so then we shot it. No, it's penis foot. We shot first. Poop tea. Oh. He doesn't have a good memory. Yeah, bad. We shot penis. <laughs> we shot penis foot first. We did shoot penis foot first, and that is still the one my in the bathroom where I. Yeah, Still that's because that was one. true. That happened, and then we were like, "We should." That's got a. Did the yeah. dog really lick up pee, or was yeah. that water? Hundred percent. No. Oh, oh no, no, it was honey. Okay. Always use honey when it comes to dogs licking anything. Use honey. Oh my god! Should we excuse him from this, and the two of Sorry. us will just talk? No. If you want to, that sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we shot penis foot first, and uh, poop tea was definitely his creation because he is—he's the one who's weird about poop. Um, and he's still to the stage where yeah. you <laughs> Only because I just taken a turn. I just prefer certain, you know, odors to remain private. Yeah. I don't think I think sharing's caring across all on across all boards, but not maybe just not that one. I don't feel like she, you know. Where did you want this to go? Sorry. Well, yeah. Now I wanted to segue into the movie behind you. Right. Yes. What's what's it like being able to have an amazing cast? Mimi, Anthony. I mean, this is a legit huge cast you guys have pulled together. What what was that like? I mean, she's playing your mom. I mean, it's kind of yeah. crazy. It is it is really crazy. Um, it was kind of surreal. We just yeah. sort of. We, we sort of dreamed up like our dream cast and then we asked people who knew them like hey would you mind being weird and giving them our script and and everyone did and then everyone said yes and that they wanted to be in it and Mimi was supposed to just do a voiceover for two hours and she said no I'm not going to do a voiceover I want to be on screen. Yeah, originally in the original script the mother character was just a, vo- the vo- a voice on the phone or just a, like a vo- the voice in her head um, which is a great idea thematically but a terrible idea cinematically um, fortunately Mimi <laughs> Maybe sorted it out yeah, for us. Yeah, you would have seen a lot more like phone calls. It just, just would have been so boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and like Mark Harlick's our our neighbor, yeah. and he just said yes. And and Gia Caridis, you know, who plays Jillian Jones, that role was written for her. She's a dear friend, and she, you know, she's got an associate producer credit because she was our cast wrangler. She brought in Anthony. She brought in David Pasquese. She brought in Mimi Rogers. She was really responsible for that. Yeah, so we got um, really lucky. And then the comics, you know, are friends of Katie's, and they're just awesome. And they said yes, and and then then all of a sudden it was happening. Yeah, and we were at a cabin. It was the, and- actually, the one phone call from Gia where she said to we were at my sister's place who designed um, I'm half the poster um, she's an artist and we're at her place and um, and Gia called to say Mimi said yes and Anthony said yeah on the one, one day we got him wow. it was awesome yeah it's almost unheard of that's crazy yeah um, I'm curious what's it like being able to go from like shooting like in a small confined place for the internet compared to making a film that may go to the masses and be seen by on the big screen I, I have to say honestly um, for me it felt the same because as you're doing it you can't like, if you think about where it's gonna go you're just never I mean he was thinking about how it would look all the time how it was gonna look big 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 but I couldn't even imagine it I just really had to not even imagine it and I had to just yeah. play what I knew um, felt real to me and um, just hope that we got good material that I'd want to see projected that big <laughs> later on yeah, um, the, to me it felt a lot the production values you can get away you just can get away with a lot more in the web series obviously we're just shooting that in our living room with yeah. one guy there was only ever one person with, like a camera and holding Literally, the sound and like it was the just sound guy was called C-Stand Jones because he was a C-stand. He was a C-stand holding a boom here and then we'd move it and we got rolling, we did an move entire it, episode rolling. without sound once. It was terrible. Um, so the production value definitely went up for the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, the production value goes up. But, but the, the, feel, the feel was just us again. It was yeah, just the, the two of us. The banter and the tone. You just try, you just, it's just it's a more challenging story arc. But we have very, very, very 
good writing friends who told us how to fix all the bad things we did. <laughs> I think that's the best way to end it. I love it. Thank you guys so much and welcome Thank to you. Dallas. It was so nice to have a good night.